Now we come to how much you should write in terms of word count, pages, however you wish to measure it, when you sit down to write. And again, you're going to have, we're going to have a very ambiguous answer because there is no set amount. All right, now let's defer to Stephen King again. He writes allegedly 2,500 words, at least, every time he sits down. Pardon me a moment. I just had my water bottle blow over. Put that someplace where it won't happen again. Okay. So he allegedly writes 2,500 words a day, and we're not going to get into that claim or any of the various other claims about Stephen King because this is not about him. Let's just take that as a benchmark. Um, is that a good word count to shoot for? Well, first off, ask yourself this. Why are you even worried about word count? <laughs> There's no reason for most authors to be worried about word count, how much they sit down and actually write per day. No worries about stuff like that. Professionals. I mean, let's say, you know, Joe Professional Author, who's well-known, a magazine calls him up, more like his agent calls him up and tells him, hey, you know, the Atlantic wants... You know, 3,500 words. The Atlantic even still publishes fiction, who knows. Or the New Yorker, or whatever the case. Well, obviously, he has to uh, carry off the project in under 3,500 words. That's a hard and fast limit. You don't go over that in magazine publication. It just doesn't happen. So they're worried. People like me are worried, because... When a client comes to me with a project, I give them a word count estimate. I'm paid by the word. So, I need to be close to that. Uh, preferably just shy, sometimes just over. There have been times where I've grossly misestimated it. <laughs> It's estimated. Is that even a word? Um, yeah, I'll have to look that up later, but it is for now. Uh, yeah, we have to worry about that kind of crap. Why do you? you know, uh, for all intents and purposes, the recreational writer who, you know, you're just, you're just writing a book because you have to, you're feeling it, and you want to get it out there be it to publishers or self-publishing or whatever. Who really cares if it's that long? Now, some people will say, well, you know, the ideal length for a novel for traditional publishing is 75,000 to 100,000. Well, it's a pretty broad... <laughs> pretty broad target to shoot for. I wouldn't really sweat it because if you're... If you're rewriting properly, you're going to cut words. So don't worry about that garbage. It's really not important. Um, let's go into, you know, how much should a writer write based on their experience, based on their skill level. Um... Again, there, there, there's just nothing hard and fast. You know, the guy who writes every day, let's say, you know, he writes three pages a day. In double space word, that's 900 to 1,000 words. Well, you multiply that by seven, that's 7,000 words a week. That's not horrible. Why not? The guy who writes 3,000 and works seven days a week gets 21. If that is within his capabilities, if he's got that steel trap mind and knows exactly where he's going, then why shouldn't he? But really, what does it matter? It's not a race. 
you know this whole this whole thing with you know how much how much should I write a day or you know how many days should I do it it's 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 just so dependent on each of us on our skills and how long we've been doing it what our natural talents are that there is just no right answer to how much you should you should write per session um now, obviously, if you're restricted to shorter sessions, you're not going to be able to write as much. That's back to the part-time writer who, let's say he has, you know, he has time to write from 8 to 11 at night. Okay, so time's the limiting factor on how many words you're going to be able to put down. But if the guy's capable of a thousand words an hour, that's 3,000 words. I don't write at a thousand words an hour. When I'm really on, it's probably about 800. When I'm starting out and struggling and getting my brain to fire, it's more like um, 600. So it depends on the person. Um, but again, I, I just wouldn't sweat it. It's more about consistency than how much you actually write when you sit down to do it. You know, and, you know, everybody's, everybody has their threshold with um, the quality that they put down in that length. You also have to remember, you do, you do need some standard of quality in the work. I mean, yeah, sure, anybody could, you know, slop down a thousand words an hour, but is it worth a damn? Is it going to stand up during rewrite where, you know, you're not going to have to you know, just tear the entire thing apart, changes in every sentence. Some people like to work that way. I, I don't particularly, but I mean, I still, I still have a lot to do during rewrite, even though I, I, I as I said, it's not a thousand words per hour. So, you know, I, it's just one of those things that, you know, don't worry, be happy. Just be happy that you're doing it, that you're getting your story done, that here in two months or five months or nine months, however often and however much you put down, that nothing's going to stop you. And that's about it for this. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. Here's that beautiful lake again. Oh, what a view. Where, oh, where could it be? I'm not telling, as I said. For Gritty Tales Writing Vlog, this is Tyler M. Mathis, sole proprietor. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. That is all.